property is actually built into the code, that's automatically hardware accelerated. And that's what you would see used here. So you see we have a nice performance there. We have another one. And this is a new, the new API that we'll talk about in a second. But you see there's a lot of stuff moving around. It's rotating. Um, and we have really nice performance on that. So uh, it's a simple example. And then what's basically going on? Am I pointing it here or there? Sorry. There, there's the problem. <laughs> pointing it at the light bulb. Like. <laughs> okay. So basically, the way the player works today is uh, um, kind of do this. Uh, so we have software rendering. And so you'll have a lot of stuff moving around, and the player will go over that whole thing, figure out what's changed or what's overlapping, and re render a lot of that. And, it, and if you have a lot of stuff moving around, it can be really slow. Now, we have an API called Cache and Bitmap that can make this a little better. We can say this is a bitmap, uh, draw it as a bitmap. You don't have to re render it as a vector every time. Um, but still, even with that, you can, it, the software rendering can be very slow because that's to do a lot of work. Because it's rendering and compositing everything. So one thing, uh, what we do on the iPhone is we take advantage of the GPU to composite. So we take the individual elements, we render them via software. It could be a bitmap or it could be a vector. If they're set to cache's bit, if cache's bitmap is set to true on those, then we those get uploaded as a texture to the GPU. So the question about whether what's faster, vectors or bitmap? Well. If you're drawing a vector a lot, that's going to be slow because they have to redraw and recache it every time. But if you just draw it once, then they're pretty much the same because once you draw it, it's set as a bitmap internally uploaded to GPU. So once this is done, the individual elements then can be moved around, uh, rotated, transformed, um, and that's all done in hardware and it's really fast. Um, and then this is just another thing kind of showing the same thing, but basically, and when it's the, doing the composition, all that composition can be done in hardware. And so it's all hardware started. So in order to use <coughs> these APIs, there's a couple of ways. So first, cache is bitmap, which everyone should be familiar with. Basically, it tells the player that treat this as a bitmap, you know, cache it even as a vector, take a uh, rasterize it, and treat it as a bitmap. Now there's a new API called cache is bitmap matrix. And what this allows you to do is it fixes an issue or it doesn't fix it, it's, it's, it works around it. So cache and bitmap works as long as, you know, you're not rotating your item. If it's just moving around, it's fine. But if you rotate it, it's going to resolve. Cache and bitmap matrix lets you set a default matrix uh, and how that's going to be handled. And that's passed on to the, the uh, GPU. So then transformation can be handled by the GPU. So if you have, a say, a vector that's been set to cache and bitmap and you rotate it, it's not going to re-render that. Um, if you use any of the 2.5D APIs that so the Zen Z property, property, those are also accelerated. We're going to focus on these first two items. Um, that's probably pretty hard to read. But basically, in order for all this work, you need to set the render mode to GPU, which you can do in the Flash 